So right here, there are three white, very prominent uh, lines, barves, close together. 1956, the thickest of the white lines. So when you count between 1935 and 1950... And in the 1950s, the uh, United States started doing more testing, the atomic bomb testing and atmospheric testing, and the uh, levels of plutonium in, the at in our core started to increase, so we're starting to map the amount of plutonium that's in the atmosphere that got down into the sediments, into the core, into our small lake. Through fine resolution measuring, we were able to actually uh, follow the atmospheric levels of plutonium. So, uh, yeah, uh, during the atomic bomb testing, they were actually measuring plutonium levels in the atmosphere. Well, we can actually see a parallel curve of plutonium in the mu in the mud sediments in the bottom of the lake. That's 1870. Yeah. So what we're looking at here is a series of graphs. The graph on the left is the graph of our... If geologists, who after all are the people who, I, who found the, the plutonium in the rocks and the petroleum in the rocks, if they accept that there is a fundamental change that's due to humans, then maybe action will be taken. As I mentioned, the, the, the take another core was because this, the, the crack was interrupting. Mm -hmm.